instance for PPQ, we have different types of products that we have discussed earlier. So what is subscription product? How we can use the subscription product in Salesforce PPQ? What are the ways that we can create the subscription products? And also, what are the fields that we use for the creating the subscription products? And also, what are the examples of the subscription product? So all these things we'll discuss. So what is a subscription product? So subscription product is nothing but if you are purchasing a product continuously from a company, for example, like utilities, power, internet, like that. So if you are purchasing products in, in all frequently, that is a continuous period of time, certain period of time, continuously and recurringly, or one time also will have. So whenever you are purchasing a product, and you are paying for that product recurringly, either monthly basis or quarterly, half yearly or yearly. So then that product will become the subscription product. So mostly nowadays for daily purpose, we will use different types of subscription products in our daily life. What are those? We will purchase utilities like power bills. We will pay monthly power bills and also mobile bills. If it is a postpaid connection, we will purchase every month and we will pay the bill for the usage and also another thing is internet connection this is also a subscription based product because we will purchase the product for quarterly half yearly or monthly also we will pay the bills for the internet connection for what we are using so like this we will have the different types of subscription products when it comes to the google drive you will also purchase a google drive so uh, you will purchase uh, you will pay annually or monthly also you will pay whatever the storage that you are utilizing from the Google. So like this, these are all called the subscription products because you are paying them, you are using them continuously and you are paying them recurringly or every one time. But the usage of the product is never stops until unless you ask the product provide, service provider to stop them. So, it is very easy to create the subscription product. Just what we have to do is, create a product and enter the field values of subscription term, billing type, or charge type okay so if you enter these types of fields for your product then it will become the subscription product so for example I will tell you what is an example for the subscription product software licenses services like power, internet, mobile bills, etc. So all these will come under the services. And also we will have sometimes the company will provide the installation service, repair services, warranty services. All these are also comes under the service only. Whatever the things that you are utilizing frequently and also continuously and you are paying recurring, then it will become the subscription type of products. So we'll also have different different types of the custom fields in subscription product that is subscription pricing and subscription term and subscription type so all these are fields we create and we'll enter the details. Subscription pricing means if customer selects, these will have the different different type of pricing method. So for a normal product, we will charge the customer uh, list price or unit price like that. So like this for the subscription also, we'll charge the customer different type. That is either percentage of total or sub fixed price. We'll charge the customer and also subscription term, which is nothing but how much period of subscription 
this service is providing to the customer for example initially on an on an average every subscription product will have minimum of 12 months that is one year so if customer want only six months we'll also provide them but by changing the subscription term fee into six like that and also the subscription type what type of subscription so some customers will purchase like recurringly that is they will renew all the product so at that time what we will do we will create the subscription type as a renewal subscription so some customers will purchase only one time so at that time what we will do we will select the subscription type as one time subscription in this way we will create the subscription products and we will enter these custom fields in order to create the subscription product So we'll create a subscription product in the organization so that it will be easy for you to understand how we can create the subscription product. So in order to create the subscription product, we need to do some settings in the CPQ package. We'll configure the settings, how we can create it. So go to the home page and click on install packages. If you click on install packages, you are able to see all the install packages in the organization. Here, there are so many install packages. Here, I want to modify the Salesforce CPQ because I want to use the subscription type products. That is, I want to sell subscription type products in my organization. So, for that, I need to create the settings. So, here you are seeing the subscriptions and renewals. So, go to the tab and see what is the renewal model that is here so it is contract based that means we can bring you the product we can generate the contracts okay for that purpose we will use this one and also by default this is month like i told you for every subscription product there will be a minimum period of 12 months so if you select the month as a prorated precision then we can create the subscription type products as a monthly basis so 12 months 18 months whatever it may be and also subscription term unit so monthly basis now set all these their settings we have to create by default in order to sell the subscription based products in our organization now we have done the settings now just move to the sales specific or now go to the products and create a new product click on new give some name like I'm creating an internet plan say for example 500 and the product should be active in order to sell this product and the code it is not mandatory that you have to create the product code but if you create the product code it will be helpful for the sales reps to filter the products whenever they are adding the products to the code here you can select the service because we are providing the service okay now here in order to create the subscription what i have told you is we need to select the subscription pricing methods so go to the subscription pricing and select the fixed price so i want to sell this product for a fixed price i will fix the price and the subscription by default the subscription term would be the one that means 12 months and the type of the subscription what is the type of the subscription so see the type of the subscription
driving down here the percent is not is not correct here the subscription type was saying in the CP Cisco CPC workflow so here the subscription type is renewable so customer can renew this subscription save it so we have successfully created the product but everything is not done yet because we have to add the product to the price book in order to sell this product the product should be active and also the product should be in the price book so click on the price book and enter the value of this product so I'm adding and save it so we have successfully created the subscription product now So now we will check whether the product is created successfully or not how we can know just go to the code and add this product to the code then we will see whether the we are able to create the product subscription product successfully or not now I am selecting it randomly a code now click on edit line and add this product so internet plan 500 this is the product that we have created and select it here see so if you change the subscription to by default the subscription is 12 months I want to change it to 6 months now click on calculate so it automatically so it is for one month that we have created in the product so now we quickly Now I will change it to 6 months. By default is it for 12 months. Now I will change it to 6 months. So click on calculate. You will see the change in price. So half of the price. So, so because I have selected only for 6 months. So it has divided the price by 6. For example, I need only for 1 month. You can change it here. So the price will be charged only for 1 month. Automatically, it will be renewed because the product type is renewable. So, whenever we are creating the order, also at the time we will create the order as renewable order. So, that means we are create the contract for this. So automatically, it will be renewed. We'll charge the customer this price per monthly. In this way, we will create the subscription product and add the products to the quote.